Last video we made these things. I mean, like I put them together. I didn't like forge this like a like a blacksmith. Now we're gonna mount these EKC 80s, the twin duros. So yeah, I'm not freaking around here. <laughs> YouTube appropriate. We're putting massive knobbies on these things. Continental set us up with these tires. Look how wide this is. They actually make a 17 by 180. Imagine with a 180 tire like that, the roost this thing's gonna be kicking up. But before we mount those up, we're gonna uh, take these rims and we're gonna make them tubeless. MT07 Adventure Bike Series. We'll hold some parts on, then we'll go off roading. Why would we even want to make these tubeless? What's the what's the goodness in that? Uh, I tried to explain this last time using a condom. That didn't go well. The point was that, oh, it's a piece of rubber. What's that gonna make a difference for? Eh, but you know, you know, you know. You get better sort of feedback and feel through the tires if you're not running a tube in there. Obviously with big knobbies off-road, that's not our top priority. If you get a flat, I can patch it whenever I want. How do you make them tubeless? Do you put glue on them? And no, that's not what you do. Let me show you what we got. So if you look online, there are some kits out there that you can buy to make these tubeless. I think it's like 100, 100, 150 bucks, something like that. And you have enough tape to do those rims and you get no spare. We did it last time ourselves using some of this tape. I mean, this is how much leftover we have from when we did our uh, Supermoto over a year ago. We'll be doing a combination of putting some little stickers over the nipples, this stuff called 3M, like extreme super mega sealing tape. Then I just covered up with some of this Gorilla Crystal. This is just to protect it. So I put the tire on. And of course, you'll need to get some ballast stems, some metal ballast stems. Of course, you can't just go buy any of them. You gotta buy ones that are meant for the smaller diameter size, because this rim is meant for a tube to go into it. So if you get a normal ballast stem, they're too thick. So I put links to all this stuff in the description for that mad affiliate money. Woohoo! I'll make like two cents if you buy this. Every little bit helps. I mean, hey, that's that's like way more than you could ever get from YouTube AdSense watching all my videos. So to buy all this stuff, you'll need around $70, $75 for everything. Like I said, you could do multiple bikes with it. So your value is, I think it ends up being slightly better than a set of two. Plus, you're not gonna have to put new tubes in when you change your tires. This is this commercial great stuff. This is gonna last for a long, long time. We did the supermoto rims over a year ago. People were like, calling me like, come on, what's the real deal? And they slowly leak, right? They really don't. I'm, I'm being completely honest with you guys. When we initially filled them up, I think I had them aired up to like 45 PSI. I had them sitting like that until we finally went to ride it. In fact, I think I rode it the first two times and forgot they were still that high. But that was just to see, like, will it hold that air? I mean, it was fine. I mean, the only time I've ever had to air these up is just when it gets really, really cold and like both bikes will lose a little bit of air in the tires. So you do it right, I know this works. How many of y'all liked my drawing right here? How many of y'all want to help support this build? Well, good news for you. We've actually turned this into some merchandise. That's right. Can't have a build series if you don't have some merch. We were actually trying to make a more serious looking version of this shirt. And we were like, what are we doing? This is just, the whole thing's, like, uh, it's silly. So we made a silly shirt. I, I do also want to point out that all the absurd things I have pretty much set to make like a one cent profit off of. Because if you're actually that hilarious to buy a giant flag of this logo, you're an absolute legend and I love you. I'm not gonna make any money off you. It's just, I'm just glad you wanted to, I'm just glad you actually want to put something that ridiculous I drew in your garage. Uh, or maybe your house. I don't even know. I just would automatically assume nobody would put that in their house, but maybe you would. I see you in public wearing one. I will give you the highest of high fives. So we're gonna be putting tape on here. We gotta right, clean her up, boys. You have to use denatured alcohol to make sure there's no nature in your wheels. Nature is bad. Don't tell Thor Hungerberg. What's that girl's name? Greta Thunberg. Greta Thunberg. Thunberg. First step we're gonna do here, we've got some little stickers here. I think these are for envelopes or something. I don't know, I'll put a link to them in the description. Make that money. We're gonna put these over each one of these uh, nipple heads. We'll go around the whole thing putting these on. And what this will do is, one, if we ever need to twist the nipple afterwards, like true it with the tape on, this is not just abrasing the tape. As well as it just sort of smooths everything out. I've got my brother here today. He helped me with the last one, that guy. This part isn't a really a two-person job, but if you can, you know, you know, might as well. Here you go, guy. We can, we can probably tag team this and go a little bit quicker. But in a minute here, when you start doing the taping, this really does become something you're gonna wanna help her for. This is the magic to this stuff, the 3M Extreme Super Cilia. We've gone with the widest strip you can get with this stuff. What Ian's job will do is not only is he gonna tension, he's gonna make sure we don't do any wavy stuff. And my job is just basically gonna be to come down like this, and when we get to a nipple, so there's one right here, you don't just need to mash the nipple. You just kind of go around it like that. This one's super easy because of how wide this rim is and how wide this tape is. The deal is this has a lot of clearance beside the uh, beside Yeah, the we nipples. have a lot of surface area to make sure we're on not going to I think it was on the front rim last time. We had not as much clearance. We'd be very careful if the tape went off a quarter inch in one direction, you'd have the nipple showing through. Yeah, and we almost had to like give it a little wiggle too. It was very, it was very uh, tedious. Don't let it 
crease anywhere all the way to the yeah, edge. Yeah, absolutely cannot crease. And that's something I've seen where people fail doing this and you look at their video and there's just like creases in this. Like that's never gonna work if there's a crease in here. We start with this one because we knew it was just gonna be easier, like a refresher on how to do this. It'll sometimes look like it's creasing. You just, it's the top tape. There's like, so there's a really thin mm -hmm. top layer that comes right off. A little bit, like kind of like, now bring kind of at an angle like that so we can make sure we're getting like right against it. Mm -hmm. Come back around to our starting point and very carefully we will trim this now between the two of them. Don't scratch the powder coat. He's gonna go around the whole thing kind of working it like this, just making sure we're mashing it down. Not going over where the nipples are, that would be silly, but going right around them. And just trying to see like, is there any little air bubbles, anything in there we think we can, we can work it a little bit tighter down. We're gonna put this patch piece that goes from about here, all the way over our seam, valve stem hole, and about to here. But what we found out last time is best to go ahead and trim the hole for the valve stem now, and not try to do it through two big thick pieces of tape. With two layers, you also can't, it's hard to see. It was hard to see. With one, you can very clearly see where the hole is, you can see the light yeah. shining through Th This it. almost is like the consistency, we're trying to explain before, because this thing is like, this is almost like a thin layer of gummy bear over your entire rim. <laughs> There you go. It was almost like wanting to heal itself there. This stuff is... It's self-healing, yes. It's pretty incredible. No, like I cut it, you, you cut all the way through it, and then you're going to pull it off and it sealed itself again. It's just about as slick as a normal clear tape would be, but it's... But, but you can feel the thickness but to it's, it, though. Yeah, it's, it's got the, the thickness, thickness. to the seize. <laughs> you can right see there. the cross. Right there. there, that's a good spot. Why didn't it go this easy before? Now we're using a brand new razor blade. Just letting the blade guide along that valve stem hole. <laughs> it's it's just a mess. This looks like some stuff from like an alien movie. This is just a protective layer over the top, not necessarily for the ceiling. All right, now we'll do another strip right next to it. Make sure the overlap is on opposite sides to okay. keep the wheel balanced. Sure. <laughs> you gotta touch the bottom of the tape as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want, I want them to be able to identify me. The trick is to push it through and then stab yourself in the hand. Safety third. Here's our new valve stem. There's an O-ring on here, but you'll see as we tighten this down, I mean, this, this part will really get pushed into the tape. This would be the brake side of the bike. If you think about it being on kickstand, this would be the one that's kind of tilted up in the air. So I want this valve stem aiming outwards. I'm gonna turn the valve stem kind of up like this as I tighten. Once I get to the final torquing it, I'll actually crank this down as to not be pressing into the tape too much. Once this is fully tight, you won't be able to see any of this sticking through. It'll basically be flat down in there. So we don't want to disturb the tape too much. That's why I said we cocked the valve stem over. So we're gonna be tightening this up and we'll get to a point. It looks like it's starting to maybe form into the tape, the hex part, and we don't want to turn that. We'll hold it still and then crank the valve stem down. This is definitely one of those red Loctite situations. Hit a point where it's, it almost feels like it's touching. So I'm gonna to try to hold it still and then push, can I, if I even can, I might've gone too tight with it. Mm. That might be it. How's that look? That looks perfect. That's our procedure for making a tubeless wheel. There's our valve stem, our overlap, our tape, blah, blah, blah. You get the picture. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the front. This is the tape that we used last time. It fits in the rim pretty nice. Doesn't leave a lot of room beside each nipple. Got this other tape that we actually used on the rear last time. We think it'll fit in there real might, nice. Might roll up the edges just a little bit. But it should give not us- Not enough to wrinkle. If it starts crinkling, we, we got stop. We're gonna give this one a go. If it doesn't work, we can always go back to this one. I think it's all about getting your thumbs kind of in there, working that down, then kind of going back around the, uh, the nipple. Are we anywhere close? No. Oh god, we're like halfway. <laughs> Son of a- Now Ian's just going around the edges, we're just sort of mushing over a little bit of this adhesive that kind of came up on the sides here. You kind of see some spots where it's sort of fingering up a little bit. That's the official word for that. Just keep 
it interesting. We're gonna peel off this protective layer before we cut the hole this time, just to just to see if it's different, see if it's any easier. Why not? Looks like you're having an easier time. I think it is easier. Kind of like we did with the rear this time. We're gonna do just a little overlap. Now you don't want to go too far up this edge because this is where the tire is gonna see it. Get a big strip of it kind of laid down on the outside. And watch. I'm gonna try to come in here and then bring it in here a little bit, and it might wrinkle a little bit. Remember, this isn't like a sealing tape. This is protecting, but we do like it up against the edge here if it's not wrinkled, just because it's that's helping mash down our main edge and adding just a little extra something there for the sealing. My fingers hurt. We'll start our overlap at a different point, just because. <laughs> Gotta have, because it overlaps. That's more material, it's more weight, and we don't want it to be. We want to even it yeah, out. We gotta, otherwise, <laughs> it's gonna be harder to balance the wheel. Good, Maximum fingerprint. Yeah, good fingerprint right there at the beginning, just to make sure everyone knows. We just, we're getting faster as we're doing this, but I think we're just like, yeah, it's good. <laughs> we started off on Monday, and we're on Friday right now. It's Friday. <laughs> I could go around the whole thing without the middle being done. Whenever you air the tire, it'll take care of that part. Yeah! We're, there, that's it. That's, we can overlap slightly. Oh yeah, I just, I just mean we don't gotta. I mean as long as, long as it's only three and a half millimeters and it's good. We gotta make sure we overlap an even amount for mm -hmm. weight distribution. Weight distribution. You gotta put Loctite on the way I do. Just globs of it where you're like, whoops. Okay, I'm gonna hold it and then push this. Oh my God, you and your crazy dexterity thumbs. <laughs> is this how the last video ended? I think someone pointed out in the last video, they said this whole video never actually did anything to the bike. Welcome to two videos in a row that I actually not doing anything to the bike. Monster truck looking tires on here. These things look insane. So, yeah, these things, I, they fill them up to a little under 40 PSI, and I mean, they haven't lost any. This is. It, we did it, again, it's worked, they're tubeless. Huge thanks to Continental for hooking up with these monster truck looking tires. I'm sure maybe at this point I'm going, go on, throw them on, throw them on, what are you waiting for? Before I can throw them on, there are a handful of little things I need to do to them. If all of the forks have to come off, but there's some stuff in the back. A handful of little parts I'm still waiting on that aren't here yet. We got a little checklist of things we gotta get done while we have a little more access to stuff and a few things that still need to be figured out. But let's get there, this is a big step forward. And these things aren't leaking air, so that's good too. And uh, I'm just really, really happy inside. I'm tired, and actually the SD card filled up. I had to go dump it, and then like, just got distracted in there. I was so tired, it's like two in the morning. I need to wrap this up for continuity reasons. I need to be wearing the same stuff I was wearing. Even though I'm sitting in the same spot I was, it's been like two, three hours. I'm gonna go to bed. See you next video. Is it, is it the tape or your or your hands that have this like fruity scent to them? Maybe Yoda is not Yoda. Shut up. It's the it's tape. The tape, the tape it's smells kind of like kind of like like it smells like chemicals and fruit. Maybe like a it's the back side of a screwdriver here, the polished end. This isn't a screwdriver. Some kind of bubble gum hey, or something. Hey, come here. No, you're not putting that on my face. <laughs> <laughs> My insurance has lapsed on the camera, hang on. Is it about people who plant clover lawns? No, it's about a dinosaur or something. I don't what know. What the f You got it, guy. It's all up to you. Go, Ian. You got this. Okay. I'm rambling. It's gonna be really hard to end it like that. Let's try this again. Nobody likes you when you say stuff like that. I, 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 I. It's a new formula for 2020. Yeah, gummy flavor. No. no. Like, like this, yeah, right? Yes. Like that's this? It. That way it puts the air into the center of the tire. Uh, My hand's tired. It's good audio, right? So it's not... Yes. You can, yes. Sorry. Sorry, you're making a good point. I'm sorry. I'll shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we can go last.